Welcome back. Agent Zero has just received a new update. The current version is 087. This time we have two big improvements. One is regarding the agent output. We have greatly improved the formatting and output speed of the agent. And the other is a document query tool, which is a rack tool for the agent, allowing it to analyze large documents like PDF files on Q&A basis. Just a reminder, Agent Zero is completely free and open source. Link to our GitHub repository is below the video. You can see the README file. There's also a link to easy installation guide video. It's very simple to get Agent Zero up and running. You can also visit agent-zero.ai where you can learn more about this project, all its goals and features, and you can join our community on our social media platforms. We also run and develop our own decentralized community platform where community members can participate in development by proposing improvements and voting. And just recently, we've hit a great milestone of 10,000 stars on GitHub, so thank you very much for your support. Let's start by the most noticeable change, and that is the new formatting in response bubbles. The agent is now instructed to respond in a markdown format using emojis as icons and using latex notation for math. This way, the agent can produce much more readable and well-arranged output. Like here, when I asked uh, to calculate the volume of a 10-meter sphere, it first did the calculation precisely in Python, and then explained the math behind it in four steps, properly rendering all the math formulas here, giving me the result and the final answer. On this example, we can see it really has that the GPT 4.5 vibe to it. This is how GPT 4.5 responds in chat GPT. It also uses different headers and emojis as icons, splitting the response into readable blocks. Thanks to Markdown, it can also render tables, various ordered or unordered lists. It can render links to external resources or links to files or folders inside the Docker container, which you can click and open in a file browser. And it can also render images in place. So this is now a new standard for Agent Zero. Nice and comprehensive reports and dashboards like this, making the framework much more pleasant to use. Another great improvement to the UX is rendering responses in real time. So immediately after we identify the response tool being used by the agent, we start generating the green response bubble from the text generated by the large language model in real time. So now you don't have to wait for the LLM to finish generating the text. You can read along your agent generating the text in real time. I can do a few more examples in real time, like, like show me the system load CPU RAM disk. The agent will first check the information in Linux terminal and then generate the response for me. And I can see even tables being rendered in real time. Another great example can be complex math. If you need something calculated and explained at the same time, Agent Zero will now excel at these tasks using Python for the calculation and Markdown for the response formatting. So here it shows me the original matrices, the result one, and explains all the math behind it. For the upcoming releases, we are updating the design of other message bubbles as well. They will be collapsible and some of them, like the generating, will be probably collapsed by default, making the user interface more clean and it will make the live response stand out even more. The other big update of this release is the document query tool. I can give Agent Zero a document, like a Word document or PDF document, and ask questions about it. Like here, I have a template of contract agreement, and I can ask what are the risks and obligations of the contractor here. The agent will use the document query tool, ask a few questions about the document, and this tool has AI built in. So it will process the document, it will load it into vector database, ask questions, and use the AI model to respond them.
Once that is done, I can get a comprehensive summary of all the obligation and risks inside this contract. I also tested this with non-English text, like here I have a document in Czech language while communicating with the agent in English, asking what does the document say about lights. And we can see that the agent clearly understands that the document is in Czech language, I am communicating in English, so it gives me both the original, the English translation, and response. This tool can work with most commonly used document formats, both stored locally or remotely. And thanks to the use of Vector Database, you can upload really large documents like entire books and analyze them and get answers to your questions. This update is most probably the last in 0.8 series as the document rack tool was the last big tool missing in Agent Zero's toolbox. So the next release should start 0.9 series of updates, where we will focus on integrating all these features in the most seamless manner, and also making the agent live more naturally inside the operating system, splitting the agent into multiple roles, uh, like a coder, researcher, etc. And in general, making everything click before the version 1.0 release. This means during the minor versions of 0.9, we should see great improvements of Agent Zero's soft skills, improving the overall output quality, and also improving the quality of user experience and usability of Agent Zero. As always, thank you for your time. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and follow us on our social networks so you don't miss any future updates.